Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the Android 9.0 Pie Pure Google Play Edition for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Yes, you heard that right. This is an alternate universe where we have Samsung phone with Google's pure software. Everything, and I mean everything, is pure to the P. We have the stock Android 9.0 Pie up and running just like a Google Pixel phone. So Android version 9, and as you can see, uh, this is really the Android 9.0 Pie without Samsung stuff. This reminds me so much about those days when we had a Google Play Edition for the Galaxy flagships, like the Galaxy S4 Google Play Edition. That was probably the last Galaxy flagship phone with that pure Android thing and little software updates. So it is pretty similar to that. Uh, obviously, those days are long gone. Google and Samsung, they are going on their own separate ways. We have uh, Samsung going with its own software that we normally see on Samsung phones, which is their experience UI. And with the Pixel, we see uh, stock Android. So oh, Samsung and Google, they're completely on their own way. But you can actually install this software and Android 9.0 by on your phone uh, without waiting for Samsung to update because they're gonna take some time. Even though we saw a leak recently that showed that Samsung is working on Android 9.0 by update for the S9 and S9 Plus. So we can expect the update officially to come soon. But if you don't wanna wait, you can definitely go with this route. But I'm gonna do my full review. I'm gonna talk about everything, my experience, performance, and then towards the end, I'll give you my verdict if you want to do something like this on your phone. Alright, so this is a generic system image, which is for any Android phone that supports Project Treble. So if you have a phone that supports Project Treble, you can install this generic system image on your phone via custom recovery. No root access acquired, you just need a custom uh, DWRP recovery to flash this image. So kind of like a custom ROM, but like a universal custom ROM for phones that supports Project Treble. So thankfully the S9 and S9 Plus that do support Project Treble, which means uh, you can install this on your phone. So this is gonna give you a complete Pixel software experience like stock Android, uh, no Samsung stuff, everything gets away, which is a good thing and also a bad thing. I'm gonna talk about that later. So this is the Pixel Experience uh, GSI ROM that I installed on my phone. It is probably the best out there right now. I think there are a total of three out there. So this one is the best one that I've used as far as the experience goes. And I've been using it for about a day now. And as you can see, I have all my applications set up, providing you everything that you would find on a pure Android phone that is the Pixel phone. And pretty much everything is similar, the look, the features. If you hold on to the display, you got the same kind of menus. Like literally nothing is missing with this GSI image. And you can see same kind of look with the quick setting area as well, stock stuff and same settings as well. Like everything is Android 9.0 by uh, stock. So how does it work on the Galaxy S9 Plus so far in the usage and everything? I'm gonna say that it's really, really fast. Like it just plays through applications, uh, all my third-party applications that I use, all the games and everything. So far, everything that I've tried out uh, works flawlessly on this phone. In comparison to the stock Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which is running the Samsung software, uh, you're definitely not getting Android by, that's for sure. Plus there's some Samsung stuff that you probably don't like, like the Bixby, uh, plus some other Samsung bloatware. Uh, but I gotta say, there are a lot of other stuff that uh, we do miss here on the stock version. So uh, I miss the Samsung always on mode. I miss the ability to change the resolution. And the only security thing that's gonna work with this is going to be the fingerprint scanner on the back. So no iris or facial scanner or intelligent scan. Most of all, I miss the camera application. So camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, everything works on this uh, GSI ROM, but obviously you don't get Samsung camera, which means you will not be having the full potential of this wearable aperture camera, which means no 4K 60 FPS video, no slow motion video. You're getting rid of the bad, but you're also getting rid of the good. So it's uh, just like the Google Pixel camera UI, you get portrait mode from the back camera. And as far as the pictures that I've taken, Samsung does have its uh, processing going on, which does look good in 
in some conditions. Uh, in portrait mode, obviously, the Samsung has a bit of a stronger effect. Overall, portrait mode looks great on both phones. Uh, you don't get the portrait mode with the front camera on the Pure S9. Again, you are handicapped with the camera, I gotta say. Other than that, the battery life is really similar, if not better. I haven't seen improvement in that. Here are the benchmark results. So we are definitely getting better multi-core score on the Pure S9 compared to the Samsung S9. A little bit less score in the single core, but uh, mostly it is similar uh, in terms of the benchmark. So again, you are getting Android 9.0 Pi version, the latest version of the Android. You are getting all the latest bells and whistles, uh, but then again, you're losing some Samsung stuff that is really good. You know, you're going to miss that. You have to rely on some of the third party uh, applications to fill that gap up. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough choice. Uh, this is definitely uh, not the full potential of the S9 as far as the feature goes, which definitely comes out with Samsung's own software. It definitely feels amazing to have a Samsung phone that has pure Android, of course. Uh, the performance is really, really snappy, I have to say. It will be fun to actually do a speed test between these two phones or maybe compare this Pure S9 to other phones as well. But then again, uh, do keep in mind that this is an official Android 9.0 Pi. It requires a custom recovery, and it's only gonna work on a Samsung phone that is having an unlocked bootloader, which means the international Exodus model will work, but it's not gonna work on the Qualcomm US model. So to install this, you will need a custom recovery, uh, which is going to be DWRP recovery. And once you have that, you can download the ROM and you can copy it on the internal storage of your phone and you can install it. I will leave a video link down below in the description if you wanna check it out. But before that, listen to my verdict. So my verdict is, is that it's definitely not for everyone. You're gonna lose a lot of essential Samsung features. I mean, your phone will not going to be at its full potential. That's always going to be with the Samsung software especially with the camera. You probably can run into other bugs, although with all the apps that I use personally, everything works fine. I like the pure Android gesture thing, but I also miss the ability to use the home button here on the S9 Plus with the default Samsung software. That doesn't work on this. So in a nutshell, be prepared to lose a lot of Samsung features for uh, stock and of course, no Bixby. Like this button is completely useless i can't even map it so again definitely not for everyone it is uh, the best interest for your phone and yourself to wait for the official android 9.0 pi which is going to have tons of tons of feature because samsung always bring the most features with its skin uh, so you're gonna get it soon hopefully but for those who are interested or for those who have like extra s9 or something like that again be prepared to lose samsung features and of course it's gonna wide your warranty and you're gonna lose your data as well so you have to make a backup. So I will leave a 25 minute tutorial from Max Lee in the description box. So you can check that out if you are interested. And uh, if not, I will be doing my testing further. It is an interesting thing, you know, Android 9.0 by unofficial uh, for the Samsung phone. Imagine if Google joined hands with Samsung. I mean, that would be such a big problem for Apple, uh, but that's not gonna happen again. <laughs> that is, that's a dream. That would be a dream if that happens, but but it's not gonna happen probably. So thank you so much for watching this video and I might do some speed tests if you are interested in that. Also, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.